Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Come in and there's a whole bunch of stuff. There's breaking news with Q and the Honey Badger situation. Um, I don't know, Ken. Have you been tracking any of this or you just been making guns? No, um, kind of, sort of, um, but yeah, I've just been, I've been building, but when, we, when we get to talk about it, I'll tell about, tell you all about my letter that I got. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Is this letter comparison time? Uh-oh. Yeah. Did, did you ever see my letter, Ken? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I haven't seen your letter. Oh. But anyway, I got it two days after Honey Badger got there. Oh. 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 So, yeah, maybe we should get into this now. And, uh, yeah, we should probably talk about this now. Mm-hmm. And and I just want to say to you guys, Lola just confirmed that on Friday's podcast, we are going to have the owner of SB Tactical joining us. Mm-hmm. And we will also have, uh, I guess he's the owner also of Q. He'll be joining us oh. as well as Walter. So it's going to be. Wow, oh, big Friday show. Yeah, it's, yeah exactly. He's a the guy that owns Q is the same guy that used that started AAC, right? Yeah, I think it's Kevin. Right is it bringing Bingham? Bingham? He started yeah. AAC and then left when they got bought. Yeah, I th- I'm gonna have to look that up. Yeah, so we'll we'll have him. Um, we'll have him on here, um, as well as uh, what is it? It's uh, SB Tactical. I think is Alex Bosco. Bosco, yeah. So he'll be joining us, um, and that's going to be Friday's show, so we're going to get into all that stuff. Fingers crossed. I hate to talk about the future shows, because, you know, I mean, who knows what, you know, what will what will happen here, but uh, yes, hopefully that will happen. Okay, so, Ken, um, you've, been, you've been keeping track of this whole situation with Q, right? The ATF sent well, Q a letter? I, yeah, Q, Q got a letter from an ATF field agent. Mm-hmm. is my understanding and typically when letters come from atf in regards to a determination letter or whatnot it's never from a field agent yeah you got it wait you got it from a field agent yeah. that's like that's, the low tier isn't it yeah, exactly yeah, that's, that's interesting that's, i that's, didn't realize all of that this uh, wasn't like yeah. from the whole of atf yeah yeah, it wasn't from the technical branch. From my ah. understanding, it's not from the technical branch. It's from a field agent. But <laughs> and and I think that's why things are going all screwy and why ATF is not not saying anything. Yeah, how did uh, uh, they put their did, stay? Yeah, how did we all miss that? That that was uh, from a field agent. I'll yeah. have to pull it pull it up to make sure. But I, it's, that's my understanding. Yeah. Yeah, but how does a field agent? Field field agent. Yeah. A who field gave, a field a who field gave agent. him the official letter. Yes, you're right. That's like saying, well, Obama didn't know what to write that <laughs> What's stuff. happening here? That's <laughs> like Walter giving me the safety harbor letterhead and I start <laughs> Yeah. I start I sending mean, people letters. Uh, something's happening? fishy here. Something's yeah. fishy. Yeah. So that happened well, that was big news. Go ahead. It's plausible deniability. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Oh, we didn't tell him to do that. Of course we didn't tell him to maybe, do that. Don't sue us. Maybe it was a test, a test of waters. Could have been. Could have been. I'm trying to find the exact letter. Yeah. And, and, then, you... and then the head guys say, well, we didn't do that. We, we, we didn't send that out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> if you guys find that, let's we'll, we'll confirm that before we get deep into it. It's Kevin okay. Brittingham and Alex Bosco. They should be coming on. So basically this letter went out. Now the rumor behind the scenes, the rumor, let me just say that again. Um, you know, is that the ATF has wanted to come down on these SB uh, or these braces, these pistol braces, for a while. And looking at these guys talking about it, um, Noir, I think, did some good work here. He had Alex Bosco on. He spoke to him. Uh, he also spoke to Kevin uh, Brittingham as well. And, they, and it seems like they went after Q instead of going after bigger companies because everyone is uh, using these braces now. There's about 4 million of them out there. That's great. Yeah. Uh, yes, it is a good thing, right? Why, why do you think it's good, Walt? Quantity is good in this case because that means there's lots of people that get... Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what I mean, that's... The, lots that's, of that's mad the people point. writing letters. That's, that's yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, every... To be honest, early on when the brace came out, I thought for sure it wouldn't last six months. Mm-hmm. Really? I saw those braces seven well, or eight the, years ago, and I go, the, there's the no way. Were, 
The first ones were rubber garbage. I, I always consider them rubber, okay. horrible Anyways, rubber devices. That gets me off on another subject, but mm-hmm. um, but yeah, when they came out mm-hmm. and they were on AKs, mm-hmm. I'm like, That's whoa. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, like this thing, I didn't, I didn't have anything to do with a brace because I didn't want the situation where people's like, well, what you sold me this brace, now what am I supposed to do? Mm-hmm. You know, which which people do. Some people, not yeah. everybody does, mm-hmm. but some people automatically, you know, like, hey, you know, you're giving my money back or something. You know, right. it's like, oh, well, can yeah. I as back? usual, you guys, as usual, you guys always poo poo the future. You like some old dudes, and what? And, and Babyface is actually young, but he always. And plus, Babyface was that elite. I have an SBR type dude. Well, okay, hold on, hold on there for eliteness. <laughs> I already had at the time. I already had my. Um, uh, my trust set up, and that was when all you had to do was send in your paperwork and your money and be done. Mm-hmm. It was super easy to have a Form 1 trust. Mm-hmm. So I was yeah. like, why pay $200 for a super simple Form 1 trust or pay like $350 for this ugly rubber dildo on the back of my gun? Like, I don't want that. <laughs> I'll just pay for the trust. <laughs> so, par- so that's why I went. If paraphernalia is shaped like that, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so that's, that's why a key I always in the keyhole situation now, that's going wrong. You know, I've never, I still haven't been a huge, huge fan of braces until I borrowed oh, one. Right. That you have a picture of the new uh-huh. C model of the the tail hook or the whatever A one it C one whatever he calls it. Yeah. That thing is awesome. Yeah. Oh man, I I, I I got to chat with you, Patrick. I got to yeah. chat with you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So okay. So so Ken, go ahead. Yeah. You can jump in. Oh Ken, I know Ken's searching still. He's searching. I'm still. I'm searching. I I <laughs> my for, I I have it, but my stupid computer for some reason isn't opening it. Oh yeah. It's, so I'd have to reboot my computer in order to get to it. Oh okay. Babyface, if you can find that. that original letter, that'll help too. Um. So what did you think about the sick brace when it first? And by the way. Um, I like more than a month ago, I actually did a whole interview for Amoland News of uh, uh, with Alex Bosco of SB Tacticals. Great interview. Very, I think we, that was like probably 50 minutes, almost an hour that we talked. And we talked about all of this, uh, by the way. But so. uh, cor- correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't he meet with ATF about that same time or before? And they yeah. gave him the impression everything was uh, rainbows and unicorns? My understanding, he's constantly been meeting with ATF. In that video, he says he knows the ATF very well. <laughs> but uh-huh. didn't they make it? He made us. I thought he made it sound like in some statement that everything was okay. Um, back then when I was talking to him, I think he, I think he was saying that we need to keep fighting stuff. He didn't. Uh, I would have to go back and look at the whole thing all, all over again. I mean, I think at that point we all thought everything was okay. We've thought everything's been okay for years. That's what, so the like we were saying and we talked about this in the in the in that interview with him the the braces first came out not everyone liked them a lot of people thought this doesn't make sense why don't I SBR and then that progressed to it just people started picking it up people started uh, modifying it and all of that and then we had this back and forth going on I guess with the ATF right because everyone decides to write the ATF right. letters and ask them because they don't believe the first letter. <laughs> Well, oh imagine that. that. That that drives me crazy. <laughs> so I know it's been going back and forth, and yes, I saw Babyface making a uh, 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 like a, a, a face about it. There's been rumors. There's always been rumors that the ATF's not happy with this. Oh God, well, no. Let, 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 let's okay. clear something up here. When you say mm-hmm. ATF, mm-hmm. certain people at ATF are not happy with that's this. top. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, because as as um. As John Crump said, the former tech branch guy, all this stuff was approved. Mm-hmm. Right. If you if you read the, you know, one thing that hasn't been brought up is that uh, people with disabilities act. That's what the mm-hmm. whole brace came about as. True. So yeah. are are you te- so are you telling me now you're going to deny those people their brace? Yeah, that's Americans. exactly it. Americans are going to get I, it, Americans I, uh, of different. Well, you know, there's people who are disabled and all that kind you, of stuff. Look, and... you can't you can't build a bathroom in your shop. Without having all that crap in there, and mm-hmm. there's never going to be a disabled person in your machine shop. Mm-hmm. But you have to put all the rails and the ramps and the this and that. You couldn't say no. You're not going to do that. Okay? Mm-hmm. I mean, so how can you tell a disabled person they can't have a brace? Yep. I'm with you, Walter. I think you should be uh, I, Walter. I, mean, the lawyers, I think you should be Walter a, Keller Esquire. <laughs> if I was a lawyer, that'd be mm-hmm. my main argument. It's like, you know, what the yeah. f- you do in ATF? Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, you can't do that. That's not right. <laughs> 
So Ken, I found, sorry, I keep interrupting. Ken has something to say. Yep, yep. So I found the letter. Okay. Okay. The letter is signed by a Kelly Brady, special agent in charge, Boston Field Division. What? There you go. It's uh, not from the technical branch. Yeah. Okay. That will do it. What, <laughs> okay. Okay. Why? Why is that person? Uh, it's a letters? test. It's a test. Okay. It's a test. Mm-hmm. It's it's somebody in Boston that thinks, oh, you know what? This is not legal. This is not right. They shouldn't be selling this, mm-hmm. and and sent the letter. So this guy's probably a sacrificial lamb. Uh, and, you know, no, like, I think he's I, a he's a, just stupid. <laughs> uh, he will, he I, I I think the up, people up top know exactly what he did. Mm-hmm. And, and very well could be, mm-hmm. but I just find it interesting that it's coming from the Boston Field Division rather than from the technical branch. Hmm. Then it could come from the editor, the editor too. Then it's about the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> you broke up a I mean, little you know, bit there, Walt. You, what, said, you said I'm, what? I'm just saying. It, it, basically, I could say it could come from anybody at ATF. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If that's the case, then if, if that if that floats, you know. Yeah, yeah. This is Joe Schmo. <laughs> I work uh, in, house, ge- in the housekeeping yeah, department. Yeah, this is the janitor. Yeah, the janitor. And <laughs> I, I just don't it. like yeah. those guns. Those guns are nasty. <laughs> yeah. So that happened, and that became news. Everyone was out there. Like I said, I saw Noir had uh, some good interviews with them. They made some of their own videos. Everyone was posting stuff, uh, me included, um, on that. And we spoke about this with um, with John Crump, as Walter said earlier. And then today, what was breaking, and let me see, I'll probably share, let me see, I'm going to go to my IG. Uh, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, it's uh, Hank Strange, you know. Um, so, here, let me run this in here. So, this is my post. So, first of all, I'm using that meme everyone else is, is using of, um, of, what's her name, that's running, that's uh, right now getting grilled in front of Congress to be the uh, replacement. Barrett. Yeah. Uh, Miss Barrett, which makes a lot of sense, right? Or the Honorable, uh, what is it, Amy Barrett? Amy Barrett, yep. Yeah, so I did this. I don't even know what this blank uh, note paper thing is all about, but I put Q on there, and then I show the letter. That's what this letter <laughs> is here. And this is a letter, and who is this letter from? Uh, it's, to, it's to Q's lawyer from, I'm trying to see since we're talking about where stuff is from, Office of Chief Counsel, so this one's official. <laughs> Um, so it's a suspension of the cease and desist <laughs> against QLLC um, for the Honey Badger firearm. And it says, uh, this letter notifies you the Bureau of a- like ATF will just do that. Temp- is temporarily suspending the cease and desist letter dated August 3rd. And it goes on. And then Q put out um, a statement on it as well. They said last Friday, October 9th, 2020, our attorneys received a letter from the ATF counsel, Joel Rossner temporarily suspending the cease and desist letter, which that in itself is like, we're temporarily suspending the cease and desist letter associated with the Honey Badger pistol by Q. The letter states that the suspension will remain in effect for a period of 60 days unless withdrawn or extended by ATF. The stated purpose of the suspension is to allow the Department of Justice, DOJ, an opportunity to further review, quote unquote, the applicability Applicability. Applicability of the National Firearms Act to the manufacture and transfer of the model Honey Badger pistol firearm. Boom. So My you. head is going to explode. It's already been done. So we're not right. out of the woods yet. They already have yeah. approval they, letters. Why? They, are, that, they and already have to, the determination letter. Yeah. yeah. Why, why do they need to review it again? There's yeah. nothing well, to well, review. So, so the exactly. cease and desist is a, is a negating of the original determination. So this is a suspension of the cease and desist. Which is negating the original determination. Okay. So, so it's it's my understanding, and I could be wrong, mm-hmm. but that Q never got a determination letter for the brace that they're using. Uh-huh. That's such. Well, I I think I, that whole determination for each individual brace is a hilarity. Yeah. Yep. Um. Well, but but the, I think from what I understand, the ATF does that for. Lots of firearms, right? Well, no, no, no. Now that's the, okay. So lately, that has been the policy, right? Where they feel like you have to send them the entire gun. You can't yeah. just send the product anymore, right, Ken? That—that's exactly yeah. what I'm about ready to get into. Exactly. Yeah. 
Yeah, so how long have they been doing that? That's been like, what, two years? I had to do that, Jeff. Yeah, Walter had to send the whole entire gun down to their And then they didn't even send the magazine back with it, yeah. Oh, well, that's policy. I don't send magazines back either. (laughs) (laughs) And you made it use the same word I use on them? No, no thanks. (laughs) Begins with an F and ends with an R? (laughs) Um, So... (laughs) Yeah, so that's been the thing now. And then when I saw Kevin Bingham talking about this, he said that, so there was a length of pull as part of this whole thing, right? And length right, of right. pull, where's that measured from? From the trigger forward? To the end of the stop. To the very yeah. back. But so now ATF, he said, is doing it diagonally. The same that's thing. Wrong. What? Yes. what? If you look at the video where he's talking to Noir, he said that. They, they're doing it wrong. They've done it to another person in 2017 or 16. Yeah. They they tried to go after another guy for length of pool, and the lawyer was like, yeah. whoa, first whoa. off, the that information isn't even public knowledge. They, at the time, weren't even making that information available. So they were trying to hold somebody accountable for a law that wasn't even, like, whoa, whoa. for something that they were pushing that nobody even knew existed. Mm-hmm. So I think, first thing, it's not a law. Don't it's, that. Exactly. It's not exactly. a law. Exactly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that tears me up when they say laws. It's not yep. law. Not law. Right. Yeah. <laughs> There's also some feeling like they picked on him because they believe that he's smaller. I think they under mess- underestimated Q and their social media reach. Mm-hmm. You know, and then um, and obviously everyone got activated. Um, I know he did say. I think both him and Alex Bosco said that the NRA was helping out someone. Oh, they are. Yeah, they yeah. are. Yeah, and maybe that's what happened here to get this letter to come it's, in. Right. It's, if they're out there listening, well, you're going to talk to them on Friday. Personal opinion here is is do not – even if they give up on them and say, oh, don't worry about it. It's all cool. Mm-hmm. It's not It's not all cool. It, mm-hmm. There needs to be some sort of uh, lawsuit that follows through so mm-hmm. we can hold them accountable for the shenanigans they've been up to. The yeah. Nice way right. to yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and before I let – because I know Ken wants to tell us a story here. I really do think that there needs to be – and I know they, those guys are mentioning frack, and I forgot what the heck frack means, other than yeah. whatever it means in uh, science fiction. But, um, you know, there needs to be an organization or a fund that there's money in that we all support, all of us support financially. And when the ATF goes after people, specifically smaller companies, like they did to you, Walter, or they try to go after Q or anyone else, we need to get lawyers just uh, smacking them upside the head. So that they stop well, this nonsense. You need to stop the nonsense before the nonsense happens, and that's mm-hmm. getting rid of these people that are in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, and that that takes somebody with a cup with a two big ones, and just say you're fired, you're fired, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then just uh, yeah, have a yeah. nice day. Well, okay, so but, here's the problem with that, right? Trump, when he had his opportunity to put up someone. To head the ATF, put up someone he that put was a, anti-gun, and Republicans he didn't put support a, it. He put a turd up there. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what he did. He put a turd. What was that about? Yeah. Who 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 approved that thing? Uh, who whose idea was that? I, <laughs> so I, Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.